Today I am doing a smoky eye look for you. You guys are gonna love this look because I kept this look so simple. I only used three eyeshadows for this entire eye makeup. Three. That is it. This is like my favorite type of smoky eye and I wanted to keep it really easy. So I hope you guys love this. Let's get started. So I really don't know what I'm doing for this look. Obviously I filmed the intro. After I'm done the makeup, so you guys already know what look I'm gonna do, <laughs> but I have no idea. So first thing is I'm applying some eye primer. I want to do a really cool smoky eye, but I only wanna use three eyeshadows. I'm kind of going for like a navy blue vibe, so hopefully it'll all come together. <laughs> Definitely using some of this eye primer on the lower lash line because we are going to really smoke out this look. So we need to make sure that it doesn't smudge or crease or anything like that. The first of the three eyeshadows that I'm going for is, this is Swiss Chocolate from MAC. There's so many times, as you guys might have seen in the last little while, that I end up having to get ready really quickly. Um, like get fully ready in 15 minutes. And I kind of wanted like a go-to intense smoky eye look that I can just do without thinking about. This is a really cool color, by the way. Um, and three eye, three eyeshadows, super quick and easy. So that is what I'm going for. And as I'm applying, I'm also blending it out. Kind of circular motions, blending that out into the crease. To smoke it out a bit. So tonight I'm going to an event called Air and Style. It's actually a music festival and it's my first music festival of the year. I'm really excited. It's held here in LA and there's gonna be a lot of really cool performers. Um, tonight J. Cole is performing. I think that's probably one of the things I really miss when I'm doing these tutorials is that I can't play music because I never get ready without music. I always, always have music on. I'm sure you guys do the same. But when I'm filming, because we're not allowed to use music for copyright reasons, I can never listen to music. <laughs> it kind of sucks. I would love to be able to like be playing Beyonce Formation right now. Like, come on, how awesome would that be? Okay, I'm taking that same color and using that for my lower lash line. Music festival tonight, super excited for it. J. Cole's performing and then it's going on all day tomorrow again. So I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna go tomorrow as well. And Cascade is performing, so I'm really excited to see him. And yeah, I'm curious to know what kind of music you guys like to listen to. I love pretty much anything Drake, anything Beyonce. I like a lot of hip hop, but I also love a lot of EDM as well. And I love going to music festivals and I'm really excited to go to Coachella this year. Can't wait for that in April. Who's going? If you're going, let me know. Okay, so I'm smoking this out quite a bit. Don't be afraid to bring it down low because we are gonna be applying another color there. So we need both colors to show up. So I'm bringing that shadow down a little bit lower. For my second eyeshadow color, I'm going to go with black. <laughs> not that very, not very adventurous. I was gonna do the navy blue, but I really wanna stay true to this brown. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of black to it to smoke it out. The brush that I'm using is Mint Brush 22. So this is actually the same brush as the one before, just different handles. I was trying out different colored handles and they just got too dirty. So I decided to stick with the black, but 
this brush guys this brush applies eyeshadow so beautifully and uh, i'm not being biased but it's honestly one of my favorite favorite brushes to use so i'm going to be very careful with this black because i don't want to put it everywhere so i'm just kind of applying it to the outer corner very gently and then gently blending that out yeah this is gonna be cool so i posted a video the other day and i just want to say that i love how you guys leave your comments and even though there was a lot of really different opinions about this video some of you guys love the products some of you guys didn't. I just love that everyone was able to leave their opinion and kind of start a conversation. And that's just my favorite, favorite, favorite thing ever. So thank you so much, guys. It's a place where we can come and like discuss things. Like there was a lot of really good information that you guys left about that pro product. So I love that. Okay, this looks really good. I'm gonna move on to the bottom now. So same thing with the black, a little bit just on the outer corner and keeping it as close to the lash line as possible. I'm actually not going to do too much of this black on the bottom, just to kind of bring in, bring it in a little bit, but that's it. So I'm going to leave it like that. So I've decided for the third shadow to go for a nude. I'm going to use this as my cleanup color. Uh, primarily underneath my brows and along the inner corner and this is just going to clean up the entire eye look and that is it for shadows and then the only other thing I'm gonna do now is add liner so liner doesn't count <laughs> liner is a whole separate thing so black liner that's gonna do this it's gonna pull all of this together this in my waterline and then the key for this I'm going to show you guys so I'm going to go all the way to the inner corner which the black with the brown looks so pretty that's why I didn't want black eyeshadow down there and then take your brush and then kind of rub it into your lashes really gently Yeah, that looks so pretty. So if you feel like you don't have enough brown, make sure you add more because that's what kind of gives it that really cool look. So I'm gonna take that same black, apply it in the inner corner here on the top, waterline, tight line the top. And then I'm not applying any liner on the top lash line because again, I really don't wanna take away from that brown because that brown is just so pretty. So the lashes that I'm using are these ones from Vegas Nay. These are so good guys. I just got them and I absolutely love them. I've been using them all the time. They're like my new favorite, favorite lashes. I'm gonna link everything for you guys down below so you can check that out. If you want to know what are all the exact products that I used. Look how pretty these are and they're so easy to put on. They are. I love these lashes so much. They're so, so, so nice. They're really nice. <laughs> these lashes are perfect if you're not applying liner on your lash line because they have a nice thick band, so you don't even need liner. All right, moving on to foundation. I am using the Maybelline Dream Velvet. Guys, I'm still using this foundation. It's still really, really good. If you saw my review on it, I'll link it because it's a really great foundation. Great drugstore foundation, super affordable. Uh, shout out to one of my subscribers, Gabby, who left me a comment saying that she got the foundation and she absolutely loves it. I'm so happy you love it. It's really great. Oh, and I believe it's your birthday so i wanted to say happy birthday as well 
I'm covering up my lips as well with the foundation because I'm most likely going to do a nude lip. I wanted to share this with you guys. This product from Lancome, it's the Love Base Pro Pore Eraser. I've had this in my kit. I never used it. I just started using it. This stuff is so good. I apply this all over as a primer before I apply foundation. It holds my foundation so well because it's oil-free. It keeps me matte and it really disguises my pores. This has kind of been a game changer for me. This stuff is really good. I'll link it below for you guys. I'm going in and adding a bit of bronzer. This is from Neutrogena. I love this bronzer, it's great. For the eyebrows, I'm using a brand new product from NYX. I think this is new. It's their Sculpt and Highlight. So far, I really like it. The color is really great. It just looks really natural. It blends in with my brows perfectly. And I really like the texture. Yeah, this product's really good. I really like it. A nice, affordable brow product. For cheeks, I'm using this color from Revlon, Bronze Glow number 30. And I kind of wanted like more of a bronzy effect for the cheeks because I think that looks really pretty with these colors on our eyes. And then for lips, I'm thinking, is this too light? I don't know, okay. This is what I'm thinking. Let's do undressed first. Just a little bit of undress from Buxom. We're gonna layer a little bit. Okay, so this is our base color. That's great. This is a really good color. Yeah, that is beautiful. Wow, this looks so good with the eyes. I'm going to also add this on top of it. So it's the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Cookie Butter, which is number 20. And this color is very different. That's why I wanted to try it. It's kind of like a gray brown, but it looks cool. I think it goes with this. Let's see. So just in the center, and really gently blending that out. Okay, I love the color. I kind of wish that it was matte, to be honest. So I'm going to just put some powder over it. Let's see if this works it's using the HD powder. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'll assume. Yeah, that's working. Okay, maybe a bit more powder. <laughs> just a little bit more. Because I, I really wasn't vibing on, I feel like this whole look is really matte. So I'm kind of feeling that and I felt like the gloss just wasn't working. This is definitely a good little trick. If you ever have a color that you really love but it's in a gloss and it's matte, you could just, it's not matte, you could just add powder to it. Okay, I really like that. I think that's it. That is pretty much the final look. How easy was it to do this eye makeup, guys? Three eyeshadows, that's it. Super, super easy. I'm so glad it worked out because <laughs> I wasn't too sure. Um, I love how the lip turned out and this is a pretty easy look to do. Now, I know the blending can be tricky, but practice, practice, practice. If you guys like this, please let me know by hitting that like button if you wanna see more looks like this. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week. I'm gonna be posting pictures from tonight on my Instagram and on my Snapchat, so if you're not following me, make sure you do. I love you and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.